China, the Song Dynasty. The Song, or Song, Dynasty created the third United Chinese Empire. It was a time of great innovation and took China into a period of cultural eminence. After the Tang Dynasty fell in 907, China became fragmented. In the Huanghe Valley, five emperors tried to start new dynasties over 53 years. None succeeded until Song Tsai Tzu took power in 960, founding the Song Dynasty. He brought the many warlords and armies under control, and by both military and diplomatic means to reunify China. This took 16 years, and was completed by his brother, Song Zong, and the second Song Emperor, in 979. The Northern Song Period. Now surrounded by other states, China, under the Song, was smaller than in Tang times. In the northwest was Shishia, which was Tibetan. In the northeast was Lao, ruled by Mongol Kitans. In the southeast was Nanchao, a Thai state. And in the south was Annam, a Vietnamese kingdom. The Song emperors worked hard to make peace with all of them. Agriculture expanded and the population grew, especially in the south, which was wealthy and important. By the end of the Song period, there were probably about 100 million people living in China. In 1068, the Prime Minister, Wang Ashi, reformed the government. He simplified the tax system and reduced the size of the huge army. Although these cuts saved money, they also made invasion easier. In 1127, northern China was attacked by the Jin, and the Song capital, Kaifeng, was lost. The Song withdrew to Hangzhou, south of the Yangtze, and the north was then ruled by the Jin until Kublai Khan's Mongols took over in 1234. Hangzhou became a large, powerful city with canals, parks, and fine buildings. The southern Song lasted until 1279, when the southern China was overrun by the Mongols. The Song period saw great prosperity and advancement in new technologies, arts, and literature. They invented gunpowder, rockets, clocks, movable type printing, paddle wheel boats, magnetic compasses, and water-powered machinery. Landscape painting, fine porcelain pottery, and theater flourished. Banking and trade became important, towns grew large, and new crops were introduced. Song China would have become even greater had it not been brought down by the Mongol invaders.